What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Nightfall and Weekly Crucible Bounty Rewards from this week on all three of my characters. This week's Nightfall was the Shield Brother Strike with the Specialist modifier and the Airborne modifier as well. Pretty easy strike overall because Telesto is such a good weapon when these two modifiers are active on the Nightfall Strike because it just melts everything, it melts all the enemies, all the bosses and it's just a really great weapon when you got those two modifiers in combination that are active so overall it was pretty nice week for bounties and nightfall rewards um, I was hoping to get some new stuff since this was the first week since the new patch came out and all the exotics were added into the game all the new exotics so this was the first week for the December patch so I was hoping for some new stuff coming in with all the new exotics we also got a bunch of exotic engrams along the way since you can use three of coins in crucible now as well so i got a bunch of engrams that i'm going to open up in a separate video for you guys so you can stay tuned for that and we also got some strike exclusive gear that i still haven't gotten up until this point when i finally got the malls maulers as well as some treads upon stars so it's pretty good but let's get straight into my rewards for the week so starting off on my Nightfall rewards with my Warlock, we were able to get ourselves a legendary Scout Rifle. We got the last extremity at 309 and my two teammates got some pretty crappy legendaries as well. We got a Ghost Shell and a Rocket Launcher, both under 300 as well, so kind of unlucky for all of us on that first one. And then moving on to my next Nightfall reward for the week on my Titan we end up getting ourselves just 10 3 of coins, which was not bad. At least I can use 3 of coins more often now to get myself more exotic engrams. But my teammates ended up getting some legendaries once again. We got an auto rifle and a class item. So that was kind of unlucky once again. Finally, on my last character, on my hunter, still looking for some more new exotics that came with the update. We ended up getting another legendary. We got the Havoc Pigeon sidearm at 303. And my two teammates got some more legendaries as well, an auto rifle and another rocket launcher. So kind of unlucky as a team, we got just legendaries. I got some three of coins. That might have been the best reward out of the three of us on all three Nightfall Strikes. But uh, looking for some better stuff going into next week as well as in my exotic engrams that I've acquired over the course of doing all these activities as well. And then moving on to my weekly Crucible Bounty Reward, starting off on my Warlock, we ended up getting ourselves another competitive Ghost Shell. So I think they need to decrease the drop rate on this competitive Ghost Shell because I pretty much get one at least once a week per or out of my three characters. And I think it's pretty much useless to players that are around 300 light or higher since it doesn't really benefit us at all. So... I think they should decrease the drop rate for it. I understand that it will benefit players that are lower light level or newer to the game. And then moving on to my next character on my Titan. We ended up getting ourselves another competitive Go Show on a Strange Coin. So that was really unlucky. Even though it came in a little bit higher, it's still not really going to help me unless it comes in between 310 and 320 light. So that was kind of unlucky once again. And then on my last character on my Hunter for my last Crucible reward of the week. We ended up getting another competitive ghost shell, so that was really unlucky. I got three competitive ghost shells out of my three Crucible rewards for this week. Really unlucky, and that's why I think they should decrease the drop rate on that ghost shell out of these Crucible reward packages because it does take a little bit to complete all these weekly bounties for Crucible. It is a little bit time-consuming, especially since I'm doing it on all three characters and I'm pretty much getting nothing on it, so... That's not really good and I think they should change it a little bit and make it so I get possibly more chances at an exotic or at least something else that I could possibly benefit from. Maybe a good legendary weapon or something like that for Crucible. But that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos as I take my anger out on Lord Shax. But that's about it. I'll catch you guys next time and peace.